Hello everybody, I'm continuing my Rolling Stones reviews with their 24th studio album, A Bigger Bang. This was released in September 2005 and I have to be quite honest, <clears throat> this album is actually a lot better than I remember it. I mean, I've never disliked it, I mean, I've always... You know, I've always liked it, but but listening to it again, it's it's a lot better than I remember. But is it one of the Rolling Stones' best albums? No, it's not. But it's definitely enjoyable. So we're gonna go through the tracks. So it opens with "Rough Justice," which is a great rocker. You know, it's got such a great riff. Just love it. Great opening track. And then we get Let Me Down Slow, which is another really cool rocker. <clears throat> and we get It Won't Take Long, which, you know, decent song. Pretty decent. And then we get Rain Fall Down, which is okay. It's not one of the, it's not one of my favourites. It's 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 okay though. And then we get Streets of Love, which is, for me, just another okay song. And She Saw Me Coming is a really cool rocker. And then Biggest Mistake, again, it's okay. Nothing special. And then we get this place is empty. Again, it's okay. And we get Oh No Not You Again, which is a really cool rocker. And Dangerous Beauty is another really cool track. And then we get Laugh, I Nearly Died, which is decent. And then we get Sweet Neo Con, you know, another, another pretty decent song. Um, well, it's, it's actually pretty cool, actually. No, I do enjoy this one. Uh, look what the cat dragged in. A decent song. Pretty good. Uh, Driving Too Fast is a cool rocker. And it ends with Infamy, which is a great blues track, actually. It's kind of it's similar to Love is Strong from uh, the Voodoo Lounge. Obviously, Love is Strong is the better song, but this is really cool and great opening track. So, yeah, Bigger Bang, really good album. Not one of the Stones' best, like I say, but it's really good and a lot better than I remember. Although my, my complaint with it, it's a little bit too long. But that's because with CDs, you know, in during the age of the CDs, you know, CDs, you can fit more music on them. So they basically took advantage of, of that fact that CDs just hold more music. But yeah, it's like you know, 15 tracks on here. They There's a couple of tracks on here they could easily take out. You know, some of the ones I mentioned... That I'm, that I'm not too crazy about, you know, songs like Rain Fall Down and, you know, there are, you know, some of those tracks could have been left off, you know, they could have just pared it down to like 10 songs really, but, um, but yeah, despite that, I still think it's a really good album and I'm going to give it a solid, uh, seven out of 10, so... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review, and um, my next review will be on uh, Blue and Lonesome, so uh, I will see you then, take care.